Hello everyone. So today we're going to do a pour over a vase and then we're going to tilt what comes out the bottom. Um, it's going to be a somewhat clean pour because I would like that vase to turn out looking decently. And I'm just getting my paints together here. I think I'm out of camera, but I have to make sure. Still emptying some bottles that I'd like to get emptied. And yeah. And then this purple I'm using is Purple Rain by Deco Art. This yellow I'm using is Pale Yellow by uh, Ceramicoat. You can see that. So that's the pale yellow that I mixed up. I also mixed up Folk Art Summer Peach. And so that will be the peach I'm using. So I'm going for a lot of Easter colors. It's my goal here is to do a nice Easter slash spring um, pour. I am going to pour in this cup and then uh, we'll pour it over. Okay, so here we go. Here, let me bring in my cup to show. It's pastel rainbow colors. And I'm literally, I'm going to bend it, but these are the cheap cups, so I'm not expecting a lot. I'm just going to do a straight pour, and it'll go over the sides eventually. That looks pretty cool. Just kind of taking it out over to this side to make sure we get some colors evenly spread out. And we'll go sort of like a traveling pour on top. There's way more paint in here than I had considered. So now I'm just going to do it at the edge, right? So it goes down. And it's not all on the flat surface. Ooh, there's that peach. Love it. I don't want it to be all peach and yellow, though, so I'm kind of... I think I'm going to stop there. Yeah, because we're mostly empty there. See the cup? So that's pretty cool. It's still working its way down. And I will take you down for a look with the camera before I move it around on the canvas. I am going to put this cup on the canvas, though. That's pretty cool, man. Now again, no silicone in anything, so we won't have any pitting. We wouldn't anyway because this, this um, vase, as you saw, was already covered with like a ceramic coat on it. But I really, really, really like this. I just have to let it sit a minute for all that paint to come down. I love pouring on stuff, and this one's very cool. So let me put you on pause, and let's let this finish coming down, and I'll be right back. 
Hey y'all, so here's one side of it while it's coming down, okay? I'm just gonna take it around. You can see how it's looking so far. A lot of the peach and yellow at the bottom, which is fine. And there's that rose matter. Go around this way and see if we can get anything else. Oh, that looks very cool. This purple, it's gonna be in here. All right, we'll let it set and we'll be back. Okay, y'all, so let me get my gloves on. It's pretty much done moving, so I'm gonna move and turn down the light a little bit. Lights in here get really hot. And we're gonna just move it over to the side. That's why you put the cup underneath it so you can pick the cup up without touching the vase. And I'm gonna move some stuff over here. Now my plan is to do whatever makes this look cool and if I can't stretch it to cover the entire canvas, that's fine. I'm gonna paint it with a brush. That's my plan. So, this I'm gonna move over here a little bit. Might be out of the view for just a second. I'm gonna grab this cup and just slide the vase over here. Ooh. And while this looks like mud, I don't ideally want it to be, but if I have to, my plan is to actually paint it with a brush tomorrow or the next day, whatever day. It seems to work out, but these colors are really cool. I'll just um, wipe my hands off a second. at my base. I'm pretty happy with that. Pretty happy if I do say so. I hope it stops running soon but can't exactly turn it over now can I? Okay. So let me see what you're looking at. Oh yeah you can see it. So, I'll just bring this donut hole up a minute. See how the colors are in there? That's so pretty. Um, I'm going to torch it and then I'm going to kind of pull it into each other together to see if it closes at all and that closes in that hole. I guess I could use a skewer. I'd have to pull a lot of paint though, right? I'm just trying to get it to go with the flow. Worst case scenario is I paint a donut. How cool would that be? Donuts for everyone. How about some beignets from New Orleans? I've never been there, it's on my list. I'd like to go to New Orleans one day. I'd like to stay right in the French Quarter because I don't want to have to walk around the entire city and go to Preservation Hall and hear some awesome jazz music. That's a must do, my friends did that, I've heard all about it. So I'm just kind of tilting this, if you can see. And like I said, I'm going to see what I get. And then literally I'm going to take that um, Georgia peach, as I call it. They call it something else, peach. And probably go around this with a brush. 
There's no cells, but I'm fine. I, I like all the different colors. Or maybe I'll go in with the purple rain if I have any more left. Um, by Deco Art, that would make it pop, in my opinion. We're just going to take it slow and go around. It's like that, that saying, watching paint dry, or in this case, watching it move. <laughs> Why this doesn't want to come here? I would like to have some sort of a semblance of a circle, so we'll see what we can get. this big spot here. I'm going to see if I can get rid of that. I don't mind like the one color, like the peach or something by itself, but like either stay with the program and be like all flowy. Or don't. I'm just looking to see if there's any flow draw problems. I see something here. I don't know what it is. Wow, it's some big whatever that is. I got it. I love the purple in here and there. I think this will be pretty. It does need something to go around it, which I will do. And then it'll probably need some embellishing. Which I think I might send to somebody and have them embellish it. And I think he knows who he is. So take a look at that, Nate. Oh, I hit. I hit it. No. That's all right. We'll see if we can do anything with that tomorrow. I hit my face. Oh, well. I think it's going to be all right. That's what I get for messing around that close to it. But if y'all haven't done a vase pour, um, you can go to the Dollar Tree store and you can get a clear vase for a dollar. And those vases, um, and you don't have to coat it. This one just came that way because I got it from Michael's like at Christmas time. Um, you know what I think I'm going to do now that I saw what happened there? I think I'm going to pull some of that off. I'm going to try some plastic. I like how that pulled it off. I'm not in love with this, you know, bottom. No one's going to see it, but if I could do this, it's just like doing a dip on the bottom, right? So it's swirly up. It's swirly. Looks pretty cool. Dig it. And now it's also coming back down a little bit more of the red rose matter. So I will see if I can do anything with this painting. And if I can, let me take you down for a look. Okay, so here's the painting with the colors from this fabulous vase. 
Oh, why it keeps doing that when I turn it on its side? Oh, I'm almost out of battery. Okay, so fabulous face. Love that. Painting. Going to paint around that. And then maybe send it to someone for some embellishments if they're so willing. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell so you can be notified when I upload my next video. And go ahead and smash that like button so you can uh, help me get more views. Appreciate that. And have a great day.